Next.js is core to everything we do here at Superbase. If we're building a new site, it's Next.js. If we're doing a tutorial showing some cool feature of Superbase, the example app is probably Next.js. It gets all the complicated stuff out of the way so we can focus on the bit that actually matters to us and our users. We recently rewrote our entire doc site to use Next.js, bringing it in line with Superbase.com and the Superbase blog. This gave us massively reduced load times, but that was nothing compared to the efficiency of anyone on the Superbase team or even the community being able to jump into any code base and know where to find the bit they're looking for. The combination of this and MDX meant we could share a huge amount of code across all of those code bases. Need a cool way to present some idea in a blog? Great. Now we can use that same MDX component to communicate that idea in the docs as well. Speaking of efficiency, we now use the next image component to load the most efficient version possible of each of your images in Superbase Storage. We've even built a custom loader to make the integration between Superbase Storage and the next image component almost as easy as loading a really inefficient version using the standard image tag. What? They can if they want to. When you head over to database.new and spin up a new Superbase project, you get your very own instance of the Superbase Studio. This is a dashboard for managing your hosted Superbase project, and guess what? It's also built with Next.js. Using a single stack across all of our apps allows us to move extremely quickly, and rather than wasting time re-implementing the same things over and over and over again, we can just let Next.js and Vercel take that while we build industry standard tooling around emerging technologies like AI. Check out our new AI-powered SQL editor that helps you write complex queries without needing to be a DBA. This would not have been possible if we were spending all of our time implementing our own version of SSR or maintaining build infrastructure or practicing drawing the perfect triangle. This single stack mindset of having Next.js and Superbase across all of our apps means we can also share code across those different code bases, a concept made even simpler with Turbo Repo. This allows us to have a single entry point into all of our apps, making it a consistent experience for anyone new to the team or our amazing community of contributors. So we use Turbo Repo to make development across these three code bases feel like one, and then base paths and rewrites in Next.js to make them feel like a single cohesive experience for our users. We can even share the auth state of our user across all of these apps thanks to Next.js and a little package we created called SSR. We'll look at that shortly. The majority of users of Superbase are using it with Next.js. This informs the tools we build, the examples we put together, and the content we create. When the app router dropped, our YouTube channel basically became like a Next.js takeover. We became a great place to learn all about server components, client components, route handlers, server actions, and then if your new app router app needed a real-time hosted Postgres database, authentication, or file storage, you've already got Superbase right there, so just use the database, authentication, or file storage. And just like building apps with Next.js, a huge benefit of using it to create educational content is it gets all the complicated setup stuff out of the way, and we can just focus on teaching a single concept in isolation. This has never been more simple than putting together an example of fetching some data from Superbase using an async server component. Just run some stuff on the server, generate some HTML, it just works. And it's like three lines of code. This inspired us to build specific tooling to make working with Next.js and Superbase a seamless experience. This has been bundled up into an SSR package, which configures Superbase auth to use cookies so it works across all the Next.js server bits, like the get static props or get server side props functions in the pages router, or server components, route handlers, and server actions in the app router. So let's check it out. Here I have a Next.js application that's fetching some data from Superbase. In this example, that's a list of reasons as to why Next.js is awesome. SSR, async server components, triangles, all the good stuff. But if we have a look at our RLS policies or our access rules for the reasons table, we can see that anyone can read these reasons. But our application already has Superbase auth wired up, so let's modify this rule so that rather than anyone being able to read these reasons, we only want authenticated users to be able to read this data. So this policy now only applies to authenticated users, so only authenticated users can read reasons. We can leave this expression as true, as this is just enabling read access, and then we can click review to see the SQL that's been generated for us, and then save policy to run that SQL against our database. And now if we go back to our application and refresh, we can see we no longer have access to view those reasons. But that's expected, we're not authenticated yet. So let's log in our user, 
and we can see our list of reasons is back. But if we refresh, we can see we have this flash of a loading state before we get that data back from Superbase. And if we have a look at the code, we can see it's a little verbose for just fetching some data and then displaying it in a list. So let's try and simplify this a bit with those fancy new async server components. So let's remove use client from the top of our file. This makes it a server component, which means we can make it an async function, which means we can get rid of this use state and also this whole use effect block because we can now just fetch this async synchronous data from Superbase directly in our async server component. We also don't need to handle that loading state because we can do that in a separate component. And then we can just alias this data that we get back from Superbase to be our reasons variable. And you can see TypeScript is not happy because we're not handling this null case. So we could just say if reasons equals null, or reasons.length is equal to zero, then we want to display that message. Otherwise we want to map over each of the reasons and display them on the page. So we can get rid of our import for use effect and use state, and we no longer need to import the reason type from Superbase because our async server component is now simple enough for TypeScript to be able to infer the shape of our data. Okay, cool. This is looking much simpler. And now if we go back to our application to make sure everything's still working and refresh, Wait, what? We can't view the reasons anymore? So why isn't it working? We didn't change anything. Well, by default, Superbase Auth uses local storage to store our user's session, and this is automatically sent across with any requests to Superbase. In our access policies, we're checking, is this user authenticated? If they are, all good, we get our data. If not, we get nothing. So this works fine in a client component that has access to local storage, but in a server component or any server context, there is no concept of local storage. If we want this to work in the same way, we need to configure Superbase to store that session in a cookie rather than local storage. And thankfully, we have this super helpful package called SSR, which does just that. So let's install that package using npm install or i at superbase slash SSR. And then let's start from our login button, which is still a client component. So here where we're creating a new Superbase client, we instead want to use the create browser client function, which comes in from that new SSR package. And then we can move this one above our type import and we can get rid of this import for Superbase JS. And that's it. Our login component is now configured to use cookies to interact with the user's session. Now we just need to refactor the data fetching side. So over in our to-dos component, again, rather than creating a client using Superbase JS, we want to create a server client, which is a function that comes in from that SSR package. And we can see this has lit up red because we need to give it a little bit more information about how to get and set cookies. So let's pass in some additional options. And in here we have a cookies object where we need to define how to get, set, and remove a cookie. So we can fix up our imports at the top again, move this up above our types, get rid of our import for Superbase JS, and then we can import the cookies function from next slash headers. And then before we create a Superbase client, let's create a cookie store by calling that cookies function. And now to get a cookie by a particular name, we want to return cookie store.get and pass it that name. And then if we have a cookie, we want to return its value. Now server components only have read access to this cookie store, so we can't actually set or remove a cookie from a server component. We need to use middleware for that, but that's like a whole other topic. Don't worry, there's one command at the end of this talk, you run that, don't need to think about it. But for now, we could either leave these functions blank, we could just return, or if we wanna be able to abstract this out into a helper function that can be used by those other server bits which can write cookies, like server actions or route handlers, we could say cookie store and then use optional chaining to say only if there is a set method, do we want to set the name, the value and spread in the options. And then a similar thing for remove, but we don't pass it a value and it's called delete instead of set. And if we go back to our application, we'll see we're still not seeing that data from Superbase, but that's because we haven't authenticated with our new cookie-based auth. So let's click the login button. And now we can see those reasons that Next.js is so awesome are now coming back from Superbase, meaning it is correctly configured to use cookies across client, server, pages directory, app directory, anywhere in your Next.js application, it just works. So what's the fastest possible way to get started with Next.js and Superbase? Just run this one command mpx create next app and specify the example with Superbase. My name's John Myers. You can find me on Twitter at John Myers underscore IO. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the rest of Next.js Conf.